yeah, very. Um, I think it was a different type of match. Um, you know, uh, France has got a lot of power. Um, the court can play quite quick, um, especially if you protect your serve well, and which we both did uh, sort of in that first set. Um, yeah, so you've got to be patient, and uh, we both kind of were, and uh, he helped me out a little bit, I think, to win that first set, and then the second set, I think his level dropped a little bit, and I was able to maintain it, and I think that was, uh, that was the story there. Yeah, it's been good fun, you know, playing uh, righty, double-handed backhand, lefty, and then also now a righty with one-handed backhand. So I've seen a bit of it all. I will see all of the different uh, types of players from the tour, really, um, out here this week. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. I've never played Stefanos in the past, and uh, he's had a wonderful year. And uh, I'm intrigued to find out uh, what he's got. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what it's going to be like. you practice with him now, have I have, uh, a couple of times, Australia and in Wimbledon, yes. Yeah, I'm not a very good judge sometimes, you know, sometimes I play with people and they're like, yeah, they're okay, and then like a couple of years later, they're like world number one, so, um, <laughs> so, but look, um, yeah, I thought he, he hit the ball well, but you know, I, I don't like to make predictions and I don't like to put pressure on, uh, on guys as well and call guys out and say like, this guy, watch it, watch out for him, and then he's got to be under that weight for the rest of his career until he makes a break and if he doesn't it's a failure so um, no I think he I can only judge from this year what he's done and what I saw looked very nice so uh, I think it's going to be definitely a top player for the for many many years to come. What's it like for 20 year olds when they do come on, on the scene and everyone's raving about them talking about potential future grants and all the pressure that goes with it? Well, I mean, it depends how they handle the pressure, and I think uh, we all kind of go through it. Um, the problem is that uh, such called experts sometimes just throw around like those future Grand Slam champions, future world number one, a little bit too easily. Um, let's ask Andy Murray how hard it was to get to world number one. Just like I think that will answer the question to you how easy or hard it is to get to world number one. It took him. I don't know how many Grand Slam finals and how many sweat and tears and uh, work and all that stuff. And it was the same for all of us as well at the top. And Grand Slams don't just kind of walk into the living room and there you have one, you know. So you got to really earn it. And nowadays it's become more, more physical, and more tough than ever probably. So I just think, um, you know, when guys say that about young guys, I think you can say like, yeah, he'll probably be top 10 or I'm sure he'll be around and he'll have chances. But to always say he will for sure win, um, we just never have a guarantee, you know, and from that standpoint, uh, uh, people come out and watch the games because uh, they don't know who's going to win. And I think that's the beauty of our sport or any sport for that matter. Well, to these 14,000 people here tonight, how proud are you that a tennis event, you and Serena here can fill a venue like this in a place like Perth? That's great. Um, I love seeing uh, tennis on, on the upswing. Um, it's uh, really gotten bigger and better over the years, thanks to um, the great people uh, that have played this sport for many, many years and have sacrificed also numerous hours and events and promo promotional events and spoken to sponsors and all that stuff. So now we see great venues all around the world. Um, yeah, and we have more and more media. And I think all because of that, you know, it's just a snowball effect. It's a, it's a popular sport. It's a global sport. One of the, uh, the very few global sports that like travels like a sort of um, we go on world tour every year, you know, like musicians basically, and we do it every year. So we come to you, they don't have to come to us necessarily, the fans. And I think uh, to see so many people here in Perth is definitely a, a, a thrill. Um, it's, I love playing in front of a full crowd because um, I've also seen different, you know, at the beginning of my career. So it's a, you never take it for granted, even though you might think I take it for granted, but I don't. It's changed a lot since you were Perth here to obviously this tournament, hasn't it? Yes, of course, Birdswood Dome back in the day, uh, but it was also fun, um, which is a bit unfortunate because it was indoors, you know, uh, starting this, the, the season, but you could practice outdoors and do all that stuff, but I love the Birdswood Dome too, so this is obviously more modern, more state-of-the-art, and, uh, and just even a bit nicer, of course, but uh, I'm happy I played in both venues, yeah. I'm curious to hear your impressions after the match, but going into playing Serena, are you going to do any last minute? Scouting in the singles, you know, draw the draw the game. You haven't had to play her before, so just wondering what yeah. your prep is like. Um, well, I was watching a, f a few games of Serena now against uh, Belinda, and I saw that she was dialed in. That's a problem. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, it seems like um, Serena's probably going to win this singles, and um, then there's even more pressure for the doubles, which I think is actually going to be nice for uh, 
uh, for both of us and for the fans too. But uh, yeah, I think we're both excited. Uh, we can't wait for it to happen. And then we're probably also a bit relieved when it's all said and done, you know, because there is a lot sort of riding on this. But in some ways, it's also it's also fun. It's it's supposed to be that way. And we've done some hit hit and giggles, you know, at some uh, Arthur Ashe Kids Day or some, um, you know. Um, I don't know stuff we've done, Peter you know. Yeah. yeah, exactly, stuff like that. So it's 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 nice sharing the court with her, of course, no doubt about it. Your game seems to be in really good shape so far. Have you found anything that is working on? I mean, I think it's just uh, now maintaining, make sure I stay healthy, stay um, fit, um, inspired, creative, you know, out there, I'll come up with good solutions, and uh, take the right decisions at the right time. And that is the hard part in tennis to keep that up. So it's not always necessarily doing better the next time. It's, I think, managing your game day by day and then also adjusting to new opponents because Cameron Norrie does not play like TFO and TFO does not play like Tsitsipas. So from that standpoint, there's always a constant adjustment going on and some games come easier to you and some don't. So it's important from my side that I do my things correctly and so far that's happened, but it's only been two matches uh, in, into the season, so we'll see how it goes. You've been two pretty short matches so far. I'm curious what you make of this Australian Open rule change. You're adding a yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit torn, you know, I, I'm okay with either one. Um, I mean, I guess adding the tiebreaker way back when was a big deal. Remember when we had like 18, 16, 6, 4, 6, 4? Um, or, you know, something like that. So I think that was a, a revolution when they brought the tiebreaker in. Um, but we've always kept the long set, you know, in the fifth. So um, they asked me about it and just wondered, like, what is my opinion? I was like, well, it doesn't really matter what I think. It's anyway a tournament's decision, you know. Um, but I'm okay with any format, really. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, like, we have four different formats now in four different slams. So it's just important that you remind yourself when you do get to six all in the fifth, what's going on here now? Do you remember which one it is? But uh, the thing is, when you, when you go to 6 all in the fifth, you've had plenty of chances to win it or to lose it. So from that standpoint and how it ends, it actually is um, secondary, you know, in my opinion. But uh, sure, we'll miss the 70-68 in the fifth, yes. That's, <laughs> that, that's going to be a pity. Well, there's been some speculation about this tournament. I know you've been asked about it before, but do you think this full house is a good uh, advertisement for future of this tournament? Yeah, and I think the venue too, uh, the people people who run this event, uh, the sponsors, I think this uh, this city uh, will keep international top tennis. Um, I will try to support it as well because I think uh, it deserves it. Um, the Hopman Cup has been very successful from the player standpoint, but also from a city standpoint and a government standpoint. So I think it's nice to see everybody chipping and uh, really trying their best. Uh, we'll find out in the coming months what's going to happen now. I think there's a lot of open questions, not just around the Hopman Cup, but just in general in the game. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll be like you. I'll be waiting to find out what's, the, what's, what's next. So you back, what's next? Quokkas, Pinnacles, what's next for you? Uh, yeah, um, I mean, Western Australia is not a small state. So we'll find something. We'll find a corner that's going to be cool. Would you hope if the Hopman does wind up leaving the calendar that there's some sort of mixed team replacement? It's pretty unique. I think it will stay somehow. There will be a mixed something going on in the future. Where and how and what, honestly, uh, we don't know. And you'll come? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I wish I could tell you yes or no or I don't know, but I don't even know what to tell you. It's but just... Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm super supportive of having tennis here in Perth. That's all I think that should be the headline because that's him. No, but that, that's important, really important to me and I think to the people here. Yeah. Okay, Thank you, you're welcome, guys.